hi, it's me, Tree. I'm not real awake yet. I'm trying to find my glasses. Just give me a sec. Glasses. My, my ones that don't have chains on them at the moment, just because sometimes it's, sometimes you need to like not have a pair that doesn't have a chain on it. This is tip me typically not knowing what I'm saying or what I'm doing. It's real great. <sighs> Today is the, ooh, what day is it? Hold on, let me look. It is February 18th. I don't even know what to say or talk about. Uh, I had Eric cut off all my hair, which I would show you, but I need to wash it at the moment. So we're just gonna keep it under my hat and you can just see the, the little blue ends of it. <laughs> I'm a little ramped up today because um, today is, today is the first day that Gnome is physically back in the classroom at their college um they they only have to be in the classroom a certain amount of time this semester for their accreditation agency who are being dicks and they made it very cl clear to their students that students do not need to be physically in the classroom safer for them to not be so don't come unless you really want to no one's really ramped up about it i'm really ramped up about it neither one of us slept real well last night because of it my shirt is appropriate i've got anxiety it is a thing with a capital thing as usual i'm looking at the wrong end of my phone because i couldn't be bothered to get out my camera this morning don't worry about the coughing i'm just having some asthma issues too much stress leads to my lungs hating me more than usual something i've been thinking about lately is while i like being a part of a book club. I like being, I like that there is a list of books to suggest and, you know, if you get it done, there are people to talk with. I like the idea of that. I'm finding I don't actually like the practice of talking to other people about what I read and how I felt about it because I think I've mentioned it here before. I have a tendency to be on the outs of most of the group I, I, what I like it is usually very different than what they like, and what they all like usually I want to throw across the room. It's just one of those weird things about my brain, evidently, that I don't like what they like. But I, I've discovered anything I like, I don't want to take to the group and talk about it, because I don't want anybody to make me not like it for reasons that are usually to my mind absurd and I don't want to go to the book club and not like something and be the reason why somebody else doesn't like something that they really love. So this is a thing I am contending with about whether or not I go to book club for things that I I have enjoyed or not enjoy. So basically I'm like yeah let's not go to book club ever because I don't want to make other people sad about things they like and I seem to do that really well. Like this week is a uh, dowry of blood by ST Gibson. I think I got the name correct. Saint read an excerpt of dowry of blood at the last Gothic day of creation. And I was sitting there the entire time, just not vibing with it at all was not something I was enjoying. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I just am not enjoying the way it's being read. Because I'm weird about how how books auditorially are presented to me. Exhibit A, the person who does the audiobook for the Raven Cycle, I want to stab with something dull. <laughs> I just really don't like him. So I tried to read it and yeah, no, 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 it does not work for my brain. I It's one of those things that first person narratives are tricky things for me to like to begin with and then you throw in like a, a second voice so it's like I tell you this or you did this to me or and I'm just like yep nope we all went through too much therapy to be using this kind of secondary person to uh, to put the reader as the, the opposition to the narrator. So yeah, that did not happen well or long and I noped out real quick. Let me just complain about books. I don't wanna be this person. Sometimes I think I should just go back to reading what 
what I want to read and you know it's not like I don't have a list of things that was a really long complaint you tangent and I apologize uh, 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 back in January I ordered myself some really cute hats with little mushrooms on them and um, <laughs> I've been wondering where they were because we're like two weeks into it and well technically it was February 3rd when I ordered them and contacted the, the the maker and they're like um yeah I get like a hundred orders that day and I make them like to order and I am behind it's like oh that is a very good reason thank you for letting me know no rush you take your time and rest your hands <laughs> I, I've evidently made a friend though I, I'm so weird at making friends I don't know I'm so bad at it I don't know how to friend it all, it all seems to come out overbearing. Feels like I always end up disappointing people or making them mad at me. This is an upper of a, a, a vlog. I think I need to go, go away and do something else because boy howdy. I, I, I'm definitely not having the right brain space to do the talkie talkie thing of people today. So, I'm going to do that. Will this be cute? Cheeto guy. Someone get me off YouTube because I can't stop posting videos. I'm just going to tuck this in a little bit. Hi, welcome to a new vlog. It's Thursday, February 18th, making this almost exactly a week-long vlog, which I usually don't do, but things on YouTube for me are changing. I have returned and you can actually see what my hair looks like right now. I, what was I going to talk about? I do not remember. Jeez. Well, on February 27th, I am doing another doodle and chill cool down for the Romancing the Gothic Day of Creation. It's usually at the very, very end of the day, which is why I call it a cool down. And I do not remember the time off the top of my head at the moment. It's usually like, like four or t my time, which is central, like three or four. I miss my short boy hair. It was so much fun. Eric and I have actually been managing to watch some uh, movie things, which is a nice change of pace because usually our brains do not allow for such a thing. So we managed to watch Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and oh, what's the movie with Kirsten Stewart? Where they're in a, it's like The Abyss with, but if it was crossed with Alien. I think it's called like Underwater or something like that. Watch that. So we managed to do two movies the same night, which is just miraculous for us. I do not live an exciting life. I mean, I'm wearing my Gilmore shirt today. And the Vax hoodies were back in the crit roll shop, so I have a Vax hoodie coming my way. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm I'm a sucker for a cute hoodie. But it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go gonna go do things, probably go what time is it? Okay. Like play Animal Crossing or something until the uh, Diablo one shot starts because right now is BlizzCon week, uh, BlizzCon. So we have a Mercer running a Diablo one shot for a bunch of people, which is, I love their one shots. Their one shots are always just like complete chaos. So I'm gonna go. I got distracted. I'm sorry. It feels very long. She seems happy to be here. <laughs> 
So I lied, I'm back. No, I, I, it's just because my brain's being awful today. Um, and maybe if I say this out loud, other people will, like, I don't know, understand. Um, one of the biggest things I have a problem with as an artist is feeling like what I'm doing is futile. Is feeling futile, like it's futile and what's the point? And that what I'm doing is never going to be viable. And today that's really hard for me. It's like before I got sick and I mean there was a time before I got sick that Eric and I were both having problems so I was canceling a lot of con appearances. But it's like before that started happening I felt like I was having some sort of momentum. I was getting someplace with what I do. And then all of that happened and then I got sick. And then it was like a year to get my brain back into something that was vaguely cooperative. And now we're in like the first full year of my brain sort of working, but like there's a pandemic going on that's making that all worse and I'm having problems with this, with the being a professional artist thing. So I just wanted to share it with others for, you know, all we can do is try our best. All we can do is try and find that space between what makes us happy and what helps us survive. So something to think about. Bye again. is the place that I upload all my GIFs on, and it's also the platform. So, hi, it's me, Tree again. Um, um, it is February 22nd, so, and I actually need to edit down this video today. Little anxious, Gnome is in person teaching today. Anxious, public place where other people are. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Gnome has had the the first dose of the vaccine, so they're at least semi-protected in that regard. Things I was going to talk about. Okay, I, I always stick this at the end because I always forget to talk about it, but I have both a Patreon and a Ko-fi. I am Tentacle Made Studios on both of them. One word put it here but I've been asking my the people who are kind enough to look at my arts on the internet um, if they would like a a sticker and or a sticker and postcard like level on my patreon and I of course Lane is like yes yes give it to me because Lane is my my biggest fan for 15 years. <laughs> Lane's my best friend. So yes, if you have opinions about wanting a sticker and or sticker and postcard level on my Patreon, say something in the comments. Also, and I think I actually recorded this a little bit yesterday. You can hear Ariel playing in the background. This upcoming Saturday is the monthly Gothic Day of Creation for the Romancing the Gothic educational group. It's like Sam's going to have to like make an actual like business thing at some point for this because eventually taxes are going to be a thing. Me, yeah, I'm not bringing that up to them. <laughs> that is a that is a conversation that seems like a bad thing to do. Ariel's having some zooms. But this Saturday, which is February 27th, um, I'm doing my my low-key doodle and chill cool-down thing at the end of the day 
which once again, I cannot remember what time it's at. Hold on. Seriously, it's like five million years later. I swear to God. My doodle and chill is, and I don't know why Sam refers it to chat and doodle when it's doodle and chill, is from 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. Uh, Brit British Standard Time or Greenwich Mean Time, whatever they're on this time, um, which is, okay, brain can do it, 3.30 to 4.30. Sometimes my brain does weird dyslexic things to it, and when it's 3.30, my, th 3 or 3.30, my brain will say it's 6 or 6.30. It's because it's a six hour time difference, and my brain just goes bloop. It's exciting. Huh. So yes, if you would like to come to that, um, I'll put a link for the sign up thing in the, the comments. Also, if you would like to leave requests, my life is made so much easier when people request things for me to draw because then I don't have to make it up myself. Um, do -do 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 Gremlin hunting. Other things I need to talk about. Also, in line of if you are interested in having your very own piece of my work, I do take commissions. One of these days, I will actually get the shop up and running, and when that day comes, it will be magnificent, but today is not that day. Also, on April 3rd, if you're not extraordinarily tired of listening to me be chaotic and rambly and awkward, I am doing an art chat for the Romance of the Gothic group on Gothic art, which is really dark surrealism, because Gothic art when we talk about art history it's a very very specific thing so but yeah it's like two hours long i need to look up what the times are i don't even know even know if sam has them up on the website anywhere yet i don't think they do but yes i am going to to talk about art like i maybe know what i'm doing which is very questionable however i have begun i have begun the collection process of the books i potentially need to reference this is what I am working on for the next month in a non-art making capacity. It, if you can't guess, I'm freaked out. It should, it should be low key. It should be fun. It should just be a, a window and a wander and let me tell you about cool artists and give you some like, some background into how we get to it and some analysis of the work. It should be super low key. And if nothing else, I'm probably going to end up wearing a flower crown or fuzzy cat ears because I'm that person. Okay, I have literally babbled at this camera for almost 17 minutes and I already have like 20 minutes of footage. So if nothing else, this may go on for next week's video too. Who knows? However, do good, be kind, be brave, wear your mask have empathy for other people and courage.